what is up Hobbs Ventures it is hump day evening we are off work this is one of the more celebrated days of the week it's Wednesday I hope you guys enjoy tonight's on this day I did put a bunch of them up to well not a bunch of them I put three of them up just to kind of tease you a little bit and we'll make sure we do that once or twice a week here and on the channel have a little fun doesn't have to necessarily be like a game show or a radio station but darn it we're gonna have fun on our van life channel as you can see and it appears that the snow has cleared up but just like I told you guys before this is the calm before the storm wouldn't surprise me if we get another I don't know seven to eight inches on Saturday and I won't be off on Saturday so I'll be having to grind it out and drive in the snow and fight through and, and find a way to get through which you know I'll do even if I gotta leave at six in the morning Hobbs doesn't miss no days of work unless he's deathly ill or if he's got a q-tip stuck in his ear right <laughs> On a side note, if you're new to my channel, a long, well, not too long ago, but many moons ago, I used a Q-tip and it got stuck all the way up inside my ear, the, the cotton. Pretty embarrassing. But uh, Anyhow, what are you guys getting into today? How was your day? Hey, a girl and her dog. I hope you answer some of those questions. I'm going to throw some out for you for the 50s and 60s. Guys, let's also subscribe to a girl and her dog. She, I don't know if she's making channels right now, but uh, or I'm sorry if she's making videos on her channel right now, but I know she's got some sweet looking road trips coming up, so that'll be a good time. And uh, anyways, hope everybody's hanging in there and doing well and uh, kind of doing our thing here. So work was good. I actually, for whatever reason, I think Wednesday is my best performance day of the week. <laughs> I think I have a tendency to excel at my quota more specifically on Wednesdays better than any other days, even on Fridays. I don't know what it is, but uh, it's kind of odd, but yet good at the same time. Could be the anticipation of not having to go in the next day. Maybe it could be it. Who knows? You know, it could be a number of things. Let me push that back over. I don't like that either. Okay. So tomorrow will be kind of a boring day. I got doctor's appointments. It's doctor's week. So I gotta go check, make sure I'm doing all right mentally and emotionally and physically and all that jazz. Because you want to keep a good health on yourself, guys, even when you're you're doing van dwelling or like I said if you're temporary part-time full-time or having a cup of coffee one thing I wanted to let you guys know also uh, this is something personal and I want you guys to know that I mean this with all due respect to the government I don't get into politics nor will I ever get into politics or religion but You know, it hits home when you hear people that have lost their job or that are struggling due to this shutdown situation. So uh, just be thankful for what you have. You know, I've, I know people that are going through a really rough time right now. And uh, it's not just customers, it's personal friends, people that I know that are losing some benefits and things. But at this time, just reach out and take care of each other. You know, donate to your food banks if you can. Donate to people. You know, be there for your friends. If you can throw a few bucks to somebody that's been laid off, help them out, do it. Uh, I donate to a couple different foundations for charities. I donate to the Wounded Warriors Foundation. I also donate to Cisco. But we all need to help each other out in this world, you know. But this government shutdown, unfortunately, it's hurting a lot of people. And uh, just say a prayer for them and that it gets it works out for both sides you know 
because you know, I'm hearing some of these people are having to, to get car loans and stuff, like payday loans to pay bills, and it's just, it's a mess. And if you're currently laid off and a government shut down, my prayers are with you as well, okay? Unfortunately, I work in an industry where we, we don't have enough help. <laughs> and it's not the greatest industry in the world, but we could use more help, but it's just nonstop. But I understand where they're coming from. You know, with tax time coming up and everything, it's just a lot going on. But we all just need to come together as America and support each other, regardless of who's in office or what, what the deal is, no matter what your opinion is. In the end, we all got to take care of each other, you know. So just a brief message to let you guys know. Donate to, you know, charities, things like that. You can help out. Donate to some of the food banks. They're, uh, I've even heard people at stores uh, that went shopping today that went to go get food that some of the stores are getting bought out. Tons of the food's just going off the shelves. And I read some social media reports that some of the people's SNAP benefits are being taken away too. So anybody that's on like food stamps or welfare, they're they're losing some of their benefits. So it's just getting kind of crazy right now. And just say a prayer for everybody and just, you know, just help each other out, guys. You only, you only live once and you only have one world and we need to take care of each other. Anyhow, enough of the mushy stuff. So... With that being said, sorry if you've not seen any music at the end of my videos. The last couple videos, for some reason, they've been posting, but uh, my songs aren't being put on there. So I don't know. It's definitely not a trademark thing. It seems like a technical error, but uh, anyhow, uh, I'm going to let you guys be for the evening. I am going to find a place to chill here somewhere in this residential neighborhood. And let's check out our music for the night. Let's see what we got uh, on the tube. Oh my god. Looks like you dropped the bomb on me. <laughs> Catch up with y'all later. Have a good evening.